What is up traders? Today I'm here to talk to you about small hands. Small hands and making the excuse to not play guitar or practice or trying to really push yourself because of these small hands. A lot of people will not pursue guitar because they're like, oh my hands are so small. But the thing is my hands are pretty average male size and my heroes have humongous hands. They have fingers like twice the size of mine and you know what? I, I, I didn't make it an excuse and I just kept going with it. And one of the things that uh, I found is I found Joe Satriani and he was such an amazing inspiration for me and he has hands about the size I do which are average male size and my fingers at the absolute best are about three and a half inches right here and if you have hands similar to mine or even a, a bit smaller you could still shred with the best look at Django Reinhardt he had like two fingers on his hand and he played like he had eight billion hands um, <laughs> The guy really found creative solutions to make his style and make his music the absolute best it can. And one thing I find about having smaller hands than average, at least for the greatest guitarist alive, which, you know, it's, it's hard to measure up to those guys, but you got to make the best out of what you have. And for me personally, I found the 9.5 standard Fender necks to be the absolute best for smaller hands because the width is so small that you can really move around extremely well. A lot of these guys with bigger hands use wider necks and so they have a lot more space to play but if you have smaller hands you can be a bit you can basically cheat the system and more or less get those same uh, results with a smaller neck but you have to be a bit more nimble which is what I found and you really just want to keep at it and keep going and really just find solutions to your problems uh, let me get my other guitar okay that was a stretch oh my god uh, for about a year now I've been using the Jim Root Telecaster and this guitar has a 12 inch neck which is slightly wider uh, it is harder for me to play than the standard Stratocaster but I found myself playing it and I really enjoy the guitar a lot but I really have to push myself to play better with this guitar because everything's more of a stretch for me but even if you have normal fingers and you're playing with a wider neck never make the excuse that your fingers are just not big enough so you can really find creative ways around this such as moving your thumb around the neck a lot a lot uh, better uh, a lot more better to <laughs> that is the worst word for this you can use your finger to re really just get around the fretboard and make things your own and just dominate the whole fretboard more or less and just really try to find creative solutions to your problems right there if you have hard times with certain licks you can just modify them and play them in different sequences instead of maybe using one string for these humongous licks you can just use two strings or even string skipping to accomplish your same effect and I think overall having these limitations helps create your own style and helps create your own art which is uh, impeccable or whatever word is good for that <laughs> but what I'm saying is embrace your limitations embrace the things that make you uh, special and unique and really just try to stop making excuses and just play the guitar and just find ways around your problems if you've enjoyed this video and you want more music topics like this make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you later